We are gonna start this video the way we start all of our palette videos. Getting all palettes. All of our videos? Yeah, all of our videos. <laughs> Please. In building with earth bags, we discovered our family thrived creatively and grew stronger by working side by side. We would welcome you to be a part of our family for this week's adventure. Last time we got all the framing done for the storage box underneath the rear seat slash bed. The last piece to that puzzle is gonna be the doors for the front and back of that cabinet. We're also hoping to get the whole bed complete as well. So we're gonna work on our ideas for making the bed a lot more comfortable for Karen because he kind of just hangs off the sides. <laughs> this is not super comfortable. <laughs> That's our goal for this time. The back storage cabinet doors, you'll notice we don't have that bar in the middle like we did on the front. Our thought on that one was we want to be able to get as big of a space as possible to get in and out of in case we want to put something big under there. But we didn't want to do one solid door because we don't really like the idea of the up and down hinges and one hinge side to side is, is going to cause a lot of sag. So I thought was we'll do two doors and put a latch. Double door like that would pop open really easily. Yeah. So our hope is that it's going to make that door harder to pop open. Because of your crazy driving. Yes. We're getting pretty fast at doing these doors, which is a good thing because we've done quite a few of them at this point. <laughs> I think they're gonna fit. Um, oh, awesome. that looks gorgeous, babe. Yeah, that's fitting there good. We'll do the double handle and then we'll put some sort of backer board here. So you have to shut this door first. Okay. Should we move on to the inside doors now? Yeah. Copy and paste up there, huh? Copy and paste. For the most part, they're a little bit shorter. So 17 and a half by eight and a quarter.
Whenever I'm working with recycled materials, I'm always reminded by how much time it takes to get that material ready to be actually used. And it's sometimes hard to find the drive to keep working on that and keep doing that. But every time I do and I get through it, the outcome has always been so worth it to me. It just feels so cool to be able to take something that someone was throwing away, giving away for free, and you can make it into something so beautiful or so functional. Aaron got these all built up. She can put a quick coat of polyurethane on them. While these things are drying, should we put the seed in and get started on the bed situation? Yeah, okay. let's do it. The seat is a bit more snug than we really want, so we're going to get these notches in, so hopefully it just slides right in. Our idea on the bed is to add in some boxes that fill the gap between this man wall and the edge of the seat. These things are fairly complex in all the angles that we have going on. So I'm gonna make a template out of some cardboard and see if I can't make it easier by doing that. We're gonna build them as hard boxes to start out with, and then we may pad them. Our plan is hopefully to be able to have a space to bring with a rolled up foam pad that we can set on top of this bed. But if we can't do that, we'd like it to still be comfortable enough without the foam pad that it's very sleepable. This is looking so cool, babe. It's getting there. That is awesome. It locks in pretty nice now. That is cool. Then we just build a, a simple box. Up from this piece. Mm -hmm. Sweet. That should work good, huh? I think so. Ooh. What you finding, kiddo? Uh, clap. Clap. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We had a comment about using an angle grinder with a flat disc to remove all this paint and that sounds like a great idea so I'm going to give that a shot because that could really speed this process up. That worked really good. So thank you. That is going to save me a lot of time. Let's get this thing test fitted. I think that the only way we're going to be able to get these in and out is with the bed laid down. I'm hoping that it slips in fairly easy. I mean, this isn't something we're getting in and out of a lot. Oh yeah. Dang, that is perfect. Cool. Let's do the other side.
Okay. Ooh, a little snugger than the other side already. Oh, still up. Not too bad. A little bit of slop in there, but I think I'm gonna redo the direction of these anyway. That way they match the direction of the box. Nice. That's how it's gonna work good too. We gotta pick out some good boards that we can sand. We're gonna be building the lids for the boxes on the sides. We're gonna pick out some good slats that we can use. We're gonna kinda low, but I'm gonna start sanding these down and see what we can do with them. I'm gonna get work on some more templates then. All right, I'm gonna start marking this out. Oh, did you want to draw too? Ah! Oh. Oh, look at all the pretty pictures. We're taking a little break today and the family's coming over and we're gonna do a little bit of celebrating down at our favorite spot on the river. It's called the river, but it's it's not really a river. It's a desert river. Nice. I'm jealous. <laughs> Too much? Yeah, there's a couple over here. We just hit 300,000, such a wonderful landmark. We wanted to say how much we appreciate you and we look forward to entertaining you for years to come. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. That was fun, huh? Good stuff. It's unbelievable. Skylar found us because I did not know what I was looking for. We have ourselves some crawfish. Girlies. Hey. You got some snacks? Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting the doors put together now, right? I think I'm gonna build a frame for the lid out of some one by, split this in half, put the slats over the top of it, bada bing bada boom. frame is going to be like, it's set into the box, right? Yeah, that's, I think the frame is going to be what that's holds it in. Holds it in, yeah. yeah. What do you think of the bed, Zelia? Pretty nice. 
You like it? <laughs> Are you filming yourself? Okay. Excuse me, girls. I need to measure here. Let me get that for you. Thanks, darling. Good. Okay, it's gonna be 43 inches. Bob. Here, you record. Yeah. Get daddy. Hi, kid. Good job. Good. Get the measuring shots? Yeah. Yeah? What are you up to, darling? Got this little piece here. Ooh, that fits in nice. Wow, darling. Well, you cut it out, so. Oh, I just cut the block out. You sand it to like perfection. Look at that gap. Perfect. And all these little finishing touches make it look so nice. Yeah, they really do. Like if you compare to the other side. Yeah. Just looks very unfinished. Mm -hmm. Get set in there, right? You got your glue. My glue. You're just case. tacking them in right now, and you're gonna screw them in once you've got them in position. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Now the question is, you have to come off without popping a board out. Yes. Perfection. Okay. We'll put the screws in it. Solid. It's improving. Think it fits in first try? Yeah. I like a glue. Cool. It's looking so cool. So, as you can see, these slats that we threw on last time are in the wrong direction. We need to be running these slats the same as the boxes. That way, we hopefully get the feeling like the box doesn't exist there, but it does come apart. And now we have our pattern piece too. Just as I planned it. Okay, maybe not just as I planned it, but very, very similar. <laughs> but it's working out great, yeah. All right, darling. Okay, I think we're at the point where we're ready to pull your thing. Let's do it. I think Azalea's already in there working. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure enough. <laughs> So you gotta lay it down to a bed. I'm gonna lay this into a bed. Okay, so you pull the back up first. This part? Yeah. There it goes. There we go. A little bit of a trick. You're gonna film. Good filming. Now, for this side, this one is significantly easier to get it out than that side is for some reason. These things look kind of cool when they're out. It's a lid box with a lid. A lid box with a lid. That's true, it is a lid. <laughs> it's a lid within a lid. <laughs> yeah. These look sweet, don't they? They like popped, man. The palettes, all the colors popped out. Matches the inside now. Final piece of the puzzle. Got a little bit more to do inside the van, right? Oh yeah, we did switch some of those places around, so we need to get a little bit of polyurethane inside. Wow, that was, that was complex. <laughs> a lot more of a project than I anticipated. Oh, 
good. You're here to help. Huh? Huh? Now for the hard one. Okay, like that. And then he goes in. There. Nice. A little bit of a trick to get it out, but it's not like you're in and out of that one all the time anyway. And then the final touch. Here. There we go. Oh, and then it's so cozy. Oh, I can't wait to get the cabinet doors on to see it all done. It feels so good to be done with the bed and the cabin underneath it, and we're really excited to get started on the other awesome things we have planned for the van. If you missed out on last Friday's video, Jared built some awesome window trim and Bree started on the bathroom. And this Friday, Dad and Bryson are gonna be building the forms for the next pour for the Aircrete beams. Thanks for tuning into this one, and we hope to see you on Friday. You like that there? Yep. Yep. We go get some sticks. Oh yeah. Reciprocal roof. family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Thank <laughs> you.